So, we're trying something new today. Completely new. Different. Fun. What is it? <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be different or fun. I mean, for real. Jeff is driving. We're in the car. Yes. And we're podcasting from the car. Something new. Why are we podcasting from the car, you want to know? Because we're time effective. Absolutely. Almost said cost effective. I mean, for real, you almost did. That's not. But that's okay. That's not being cost effective. We're using our time. We're exhibiting time management skills. Red and green, the podcast is on the road. (laughs) (laughs) For real. Coming from Disney. I mean, really. Well, Epcot. Epcot, yeah. And it's cold. It is really cold. I mean, like, I don't do cold weather well. Never have. Hadn't changed. It is 4.49 p.m. right now currently, and it is 52 degrees in Orlando, Florida. That is psychotic. That's cold. I don't do well with that. But, you know, people up north may say, that's not cold at all. Well, I, many of my friends have informed me that it's 17 and 2. 17? And 7. Yeah, like wherever okay. they are. That is disrespectful. That weather is disrespectful. It's, well, there's no way. Um, Listen, I don't make it in temperatures like that. Yeah. Like, this morning, I kid you not, I did not get out of bed until like 8.50 had been awake for an hour and a half, <laughs> but I was cold. Right. And I was like, Mm-mm, my body's not ready for it. Okay. That's facts. And my poor little dog, What's he wrong? don't like it being cold either. That my little baby dog, we went and cut all his hair off. Why'd you change your voice? Because he's a baby. Okay. That little baby dog. Dude. <laughs> I love him. You know he didn't like it cold yesterday. Because you hooked a sister up yesterday. I did? Huh. You took the dog for a walk for me. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, I'm going to need you to uh, take this dog to the bathroom, please. That dog was, whoa, Nelly. Slow down for real, dog. Was he fast? Yes. Like, he wanted to come back in? Is that what you mean? No. He was like, want to go for a run. Oh. I'm like, no. Sorry. I'll tell you what. I just yawned. This well, is why we're podcasting from the car. The car. That's right. <laughs> no cuts. This is all live. All live because I had to yawn. Um, that's what happens when I get cold and then I get toasty. You said cold and then toasty. <laughs> <laughs> that is what happened. Cold and then what toasty. What was it I said today that got you tickled? It was a country word. I have no idea. Vittles. Yeah, I had some vittles. What? <laughs> what are vittles? If you knew what vittles you was, said, you just started food? laughing. <laughs> A side of vittles? Well, not a side of vittles. I don't know no, how you say it. No, vittles is... The main dish. No, it's just the food. The main dish? It does, no, it it's could not. be... A vittle could be the green beans. A vittle could be some mashed potatoes. Or a, it, or it could be a box of Chinese food. Like, you know, okay, well... Vittles is just what it is. Thanks for that, thanks for that huh, tutorial. <laughs> You're welcome. How about vittles? Listen, listen, I'm here for you. Quit wiggling around so much. You're going to make too much noise on the podcast. We live. It's going to be noise on the podcast. <laughs> I know, but your shirt's swishy. Oh. So you got to keep your arms at a minimum. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, what else was we going to talk about? I don't know. We, uh, of our intro. We covered it. Yeah, we covered it. We tried it. to cap it. We tried to cap it, yeah. You sound like a mockingbird. <laughs> That's not a mockingbird. Jeff, what's wrong with Oh, you? tell them about my food experience at Epcot. No, you tell them. You tell it better than I because well, it was I'm your busy. experience. I got to go to the dentist. <laughs> tell it what happened. I got a caramel from the German caramel place. Mm-hmm. And it was a chocolate covered caramel, it said. And you know, I expected chocolate with caramel and caramel is like gooey. Right. Sticky. Stringy. Mm-hmm. Soft. <laughs> they per near put like chocolate dipped a cinder block. <laughs> and I went in, took a bite, and like about cracked my jaw <laughs> on that thing. And then I had you come in, take a bite from the other end. Be like, listen, try yeah. it. It was hard, wasn't it? Yes. But I said, okay, now I like my teeth. <laughs> I'm not I mean, biting honestly, that. I don't know if it's something I need to sit on the counter. Oh, yeah, probably need to just put it in the microwave for, well, let it thaw out a little bit. I don't think, what, it was inside? 
It's not like it would be frozen. I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt. No, that wasn't none of that. Then microwave it, melt it. <laughs> yeah, but then I wonder how you would microwave it because then when the outside and eh, it probably just warmed. I don't know why I need to be that committed to eating it. I mean, for real. Then we went and because I was mad about that. And then I went and got an apple cake in. And you ate that like you was at the last supper. Listen, you, I did. Listen, I looked up. I thought you was one of the twelve disciples, and it was. <laughs> You say, I'm going to have this one. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm one of those girls, and you can vouch for this. I've never, you know, like, there's the girls that you'll take to dinner, and they'll be like, I'm like a salad. With, right. Mm -mm, I'm going to roll my sleeves up. I can eat any man under the table. Wow. Can I? I don't know about all that. Now. I would not say that. Look, what's he doing? I think mm. they, I think they beefing. Yes. Oh, we about to see. We, this could be live. Yeah, this is live this right This could now. be like um, cops. What's <laughs> happening? <laughs> then it goes Facebook live video. He was video. driving really close to Yeah, he that was, he was he on was her. Not happy. Mm -mm. Anyway. Um, so, what was we saying? We was talking about my hard caramel. Oh, but then, oh, I can eat anybody under the table. That's what we were saying. Except you. You could, well, I could eat you of real food under the table. But, like, cookies and stuff, you could eat anybody under the table. Sweet stuff? There's a focus there. What do you mean? <laughs> Sweet stuff. There's a focus. I love them. You really? Like, listen. I've been there since I was a kid. Sweet tooth? Yes. It's a wonder you ain't got the diabetes. <laughs> the diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make it get a shirt made. The diabetes only. <laughs> yeah. It's a wonder. I have literally, look, I'm going to air your dirty laundry. And just as we talked about oversharing, I'm going to overshare for you. I've seen you eat three two-packs of Reese Cups, a total of six Reese Cups before, within like an hour and a half. No, no you have not. You lie. No, you have not. Sorry. <laughs> as, sorry. He, as he laughs. <laughs> sorry. sorry. You, know, you know what? You don't uh, get to overshare my business. You get to overshare you know your what, own. You know, <laughs> what, you know what I've done, though? I'll overshare my own. There you go. I've had... Um, a king pack uh -huh. of Reese cups, you know, where you get four. Mm -hmm. And then if you get the soft and chewy chips to hoy and make a sandwich with it. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Listen, you should try that. Yeah. You, and secretly, just, in, secretly in his soul, he's like, I already have, and it's good. <laughs> you don't want me to have diabetes, but you say, try that. <laughs> <laughs> well, not four, just try one. No, that's I did four. Day. That was eight cookies and four Reese cups. Oh, oh, I didn't feel good about myself after. I'm sure. You but can. I felt pretty good about myself during it. <laughs> so. Till your body said, "Oh, this is what you've done to him." Right. Until I went to try to set up. Right. So now we're talk talking about um, kind of closing off the last subject and going to something new. So go ahead now. What we're talking about that. I guess we ain't talking about cookies no more. You know, he, he, get, he getting right down into the nitty gritty let's now. Let's go, because after a while we just talk. <laughs> right. Okay, let's go. That's good. No, I mean, just to wrap up the whole guilt and shame thing. Yeah. Like, for me, to reflect on that personally, on my end, mm -hmm. it is an ongoing battle, but a self-awareness at the same time. Right. And like anytime I'm feeling any type of way, if I don't know which one it is, I try to do the thing of like, am I saying I should have done something different or that I'm less of a person because of it? If that, if I should have done something different because it would have been the right thing to do, mm -hmm. recognize that I'm human, made a mistake and move forward. If it's something to where I hate myself, well, that's just stupid. Like, to, right. and it's like, Christy, get over it. Uh -huh. if, and kind of like if it was your best friend or your partner or your co-worker or your spouse or your mom or dad or whoever and they were talking would you say the same thing to them for the same thing they did that makes sense yeah like yeah. If, if you're saying I think that if you're saying to your if somebody came to you with the same mistake I guess that's what I'm trying to say uh -huh. I said, I don't know what to do. I hate myself. Would you be like, you should. Right. Or would you be like, give yourself the advice you'd give other people. 
Be oh. kind to yourself. Give yourself grace. There you go. You know. That too. Just give yourself grace. And, you know, this, you grow through that stuff. You know, you grow through it. But you have to give yourself grace and you have to understand that, you know, you make mistakes, there are consequences that comes with anything. Mm-hmm. Um, but consequences instruct if you allow it to. Right. Uh, if you allow the consequences to instruct. You know, even if even if you're wronged, you know what I'm saying? Look at the look, look what look what you could have done better. Look what I could, I could have done better. Okay. Did I create space for it to happen? You know what I'm saying? Because you can't control that stuff. If you create the space for it, you can't control it. So therefore, you you look at it, and, and, and this is specifically talking about learning from your mistakes. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not coming from a place of research or, you know. <laughs> Again, we are not professionals. Uh, you know, it's just life experiences and learning. Life experiences and learning. And, um, and, and, and moving forward. So you, if there's guilt there, apologize for it. But, you know, because the guilt, you know, or shame, you know, you apologize. But not, you know, you move forward, though. Um, shame, you don't allow it to get you down. And it's hard because it can. You know, and that's when you, you surround yourself with people that will uplift you. Hold you accountable, but uplift you and continue moving forward. And the more I remember um, Jay Shetty saying, I'm paraphrasing it, um, and his thing like a monk, he was talking about the monks. When you constantly look back, you can never grow and move forward. Yeah. If you constantly look back, oh, I wish I'd have done this different. I wish I would have done that different. Oh, I wish I never would have done this. I never would never. If you constantly, but you can't move forward because you, you're you're in a in a um, limbo. Limbo, it's like a yo-yo. Yeah. You know? and, and and so that being said, no, you acknowledge, but you move forward. You know, you acknowledge, but you move forward, and you keep on going. Well, I mean, if you're constantly looking back to add to that part, it's like a ball and chain. You're allowing it to, no matter how far forward you go, you're still dragging that behind with you. Right. Right, right, right. And at some point, you got to stop it. Like, you know, I think one of the things that I have had shame over personally, Mm -hmm. and this has been from the time I was little, is a failed relationship. Uh Whether it be romantic Mm -hmm. or a friend. Right. Either one. Like, that's one of those things that have made me, like, I I would have shame over it. Right. Like, if I broke up with somebody, I felt bad. And if somebody broke up with me, I felt bad. Okay. Like, it was a thing of, and then, well, what are other people going to think? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then, to be able to get to a point, like, seriously, like, in my 30s. Mm-hmm. Like, I carried it that long. Right. Wow. That's a long time. Well, listen, we've all gone through that or something similar or maybe something different where the, where the results are the same, where you carry something for a long right. time. Well, to where it was such a concern. And it, it's really a process for me to figure out, like, that's nothing to be ashamed of. Yeah. And if there were things that I should have been felt guilty of or be ashamed of... Well, it's still, like, so far gone and done. What are you going to do? Right. Like, you can only... Listen. If you wrong somebody... And here, at, and this is for you to take on both sides of the coin, right? Right. Like, if you've wronged somebody, all you can do is apologize. That's yes, right. That's it. Right. They can, and then they can either accept it or not. And guess what? That's still it. If they don't accept your apology, you still get to move on. If they do accept your apology, they may accept your apology and never want to see your face again. Right. And they still get to do that. Or they can accept it and things be cool. That's basically your three options. Yeah. And you have now done the right thing. You can put your head on a pillow at night and you still move forward because you've apologized. Right. And you're able to do the same thing. Now, me, Christy, I am in the middle. I, the one I do the most is the, 
I'll accept your apology and I'll forgive you and stay a thousand feet away from me. Right. Because once you wrong me, like I ain't even trying. Right. Like to put myself in that situation again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like it's a, and I can love you from far away and I can pray for you from far away. Right. And, you know, I don't know, maybe like in years. I can mm-hmm. refriend people. But, like, let me tell you, I saw this girl the other day that I know. And have you ever just looked at somebody and been like, man. Right. The Lord. I made a TikTok one time and it said, um, You thought you walked out my life, but I prayed you out of it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's actually funny. Follow me on TikTok. Christy uh-huh. Greenberg. It's funny. But um, it says, <laughs> it, It's one of those things, but like where you're praying. Right. For like peace of a situation. And you thought that it would be that God would change the other person. Mm-hmm. And that you could be your best friends forever. And like have that relationship. But. Really? He's like okay. You want this to be better? Boom. Right. And he shut the door. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And I have realized. What a better person I am. Because they're not in my life anymore. Right. Right. So, but I also forgive them for every single thing that they did. Mm -hmm. I really, really do. And, but I don't need them around. Right. Hmm. Would you like to add anything to that? No, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm processing what you're saying because for me, I'm that way, but then depending upon the situation, I could be another way. You know, you know, Mm -hmm. does it make sense to you? You just it it all depends on where you are in your process. Yeah, I you I know. think and what, you're sweeter in a lot of ways than me. Mm-hmm. I just sounded mean about myself, I mean, and I, now it's live. I can't go back and edit it out. You can edit it out, so go, yeah. Um, but no, I see you. I'm more believe it. I can't believe I'm saying this even on podcasts. In some ways, when it comes to some things, I'm no more naive than you. If that makes sense. I will agree. You know, there are some things that, you know. You know, I don't know how many times, and this is something that's funny. Mm-hmm. We've been friends for a long time. Yeah. And you have told me how good some people were. And I've been like, mm. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I ain't been wrong yet. I don't know what you're seeing, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I ain't wrong. Yeah. No. You. Yeah. I but, don't. I try my best to see people as damaged, wounded people from jump. Because right? we all are. Right. Because everybody are. is. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so, and you're obviously, let me tell you what, if I meet any of you people in real life, you're going to see my best foot forward. 90% chance of it. Mm-hmm. And I only give you 10% because I might already heard something about you not lucky. No, I'm kidding. Um, but, no, like, there's a 10% chance that you could catch me on a bad day and it wouldn't be my best foot. But I would still be very... Right. You're going to see me. I mean, you probably know more about me now because of this. Right. Thinking. Yeah, I mean, like, because they would already know something about me. Well, anyway, people who have never heard my voice before... Mm-hmm. They would. Oh, we are so sorry. There's someone with a very loud radio. Listen, this is what happens. Be like, hey, turn it down. We're trying to podcast. This is what happens. And that to you right now. That sounds like it killed me. No, I like this because it's just it's 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 spontaneous. You're hearing us when we're in the car and we just have these conversations, and it's just like this. Boom, 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 boom. Do you, do you know that? Uh-huh. <laughs> no. That's what we do. But what you were saying? Um, no, I mean, I think that, like, I have the clarity that I'm always putting my best foot forward. And here's the thing that I see with you, though, that I don't think that you have seen before. I have, as your friend, sat back and just, like, I've known people, and then I see how people talk to you, mm-hmm. especially at your choir shindigs and whatnot. Uh-huh. And it's the same thing. I call it when my mom knows that somebody has cancer voice. Uh huh. And she'll go like this. My mom talks like this. Like she'll talk normal. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And then she'll go. 
How are you doing? Are you doing okay? It's like, Mommy, you don't talk like that. But it's her sweet, concerned voice. And we all have that. Like, I'm just picking on Mommy. Right. But um, it's that same type of thing that they go up and they talk to you in a different... And I'm like, mm, I ain't who you are. I don't know who are you kidding. Right, right. And I think we all do it to people at times. But yeah. I think you believe that as that's who they are. No. No, it's not. It's not so much that. It's more so... I don't believe that's, it's not, I, it's, it's, it's not, I don't believe that's who you are or I think that's what you, you know, it's just, I think people can be nice. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't and, say it. I don't think people can be nice. And so, but you're very, Rude. But you, yeah, but wow. you're, yeah, but you're very cynical. <laughs> so, I mean, that is true. I mean, you're very cynical. So it's like. <laughs> And I'm, I hate I'm you just, right now. I'm because you know it's the truth. You, know, you just that, said, well, I think it's just that... I think people can be I nice. Believe people can be, I, don't, I, I believe you know, people can be nice. So, but... Not, maybe not you, but... but. that... <laughs> this is, oh, my feelings hurt. Uh, don't worry, Karna. That, that, um, but that being said, it's... I focus on what you show me. And then if it's something different, oh, uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And so that's... So, but again, but... At the same time, I'm naive that way also. You know, so it's like now I don't I don't focus on that. I just focus on what's the task at hand. You know, this is who you are? Okay, great. Can we? Oh, that's who you're not. Okay, then. Let's move forward. You know, and just keep going. I don't try to dissect like I used to. Yeah, but you, know, it's, it's, you it's, believe it's, it's people too, though. It's too, much, it's too much work. It's not, but the whole thing about it's it. It's a beautiful thing that you do. It's not about, but the whole point, it's not about whether I believe somebody or not. It's literally what needs to get done and how can we, how we move forward to be healthy. I don't focus on trying to dissect, is this person this or is this person that. I used to, and that was a lot of work. And that, and, and which, because when you go down that road, it contributes to dysfunction. You know, and, and so, yeah, I don't do that. I you mean, know I think I do it. So, I mean, well, we're just two different people. But, and that's fine. That that works for you. You can only you can only do what works for you and what's healthy for you. And and so, if that's two different things, that's two, two, two different things. Yeah, I suppose. You know, but the main thing is you release and you grow. You release and then you grow. And, and, and I tell you, it's a, it's a lifelong process. It's a lifelong process. And then you have to go back and figure it out, and go back and figure it out. That's why I say if you, if you, um, if you haven't gone to therapy, you know it's always been taboo for so many years. Um, you know you got, you know you go to therapy, something must be wrong with you. I think everybody in the world needs to go to therapy, mm-hmm. and you can have a perfect life, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and still go. You know there's so much that I have learned. You know because people. Oh, that's writing. Oh, success this or he's done that. Or, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And don't realize, you know what I'm saying? I'm human also. I'm human also. And and so when you have that walk, you got to continue to go and continue to grow. And how can you be a better version of yourself? Accept yourself first. You never sit and worry about who accepts you or don't accept you. Correct. Because the minute you do that, that means that you're not accepting you. Correct. Because you 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 are literally putting your value on someone else's opinion of you, who don't know you, or who haven't even gotten the chance to know you. Right. And that there you we go. We are sorry. The, yep. Those people did not yep. want to turn. Yeah. So um, we're we're gonna podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, listen, this is deep right listen, now. Do you even care? No, I'm just, <laughs> what the window listen, as I wrote the window down. No, but I'm just. But those are things to encourage you. You know what I'm saying? It's continue to grow. You know, it's it's life. It's you know, life. Uh-huh. There's something that you said when you were talking about the release a minute ago. What did uh-huh. you say? Release and something? Um, I don't know. Anyway, uh-huh. you were saying like, but you got to let this stuff go, right? Yeah. Which is true. And the thing, but here's the thing that, so you don't feel like you're crazy. Anybody. Because me and you've talked about this. Right. Like, before. You think you've let it go, and then all of a sudden it pops back up, Trigger. and you feel, yeah, you Trigger. get triggered, yeah. and you're like, that's the word. That was the word I was trying to think of. And oh. you get like all up in your feels, and you go back, then you just start the same work again. 
Yeah. And every time it gets less and less. Yeah. You know, and here's the thing. And this is kind of dark and I don't mean it dark. But when my husband passed away, I'm the one who found him. And, you know, you want to remember somebody alive and laughing and happy. Mm -hmm. You don't want to remember them like that. Mm -hmm. And I prayed, like, so much for God to take away that, that memory right. to take right. away. And he did. And you know what? Every once in a blue moon, it'll pop up. And guess what I do? I start. But I mean, I couldn't shut my eyes. I couldn't have a thought about him without seeing that. And it's rare. And every time it'll get farther and few between. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And a longer span. And so when it happens, it's just a moment that you got to go back to your roots and say, listen, I know that maybe what I did was wrong. I know, But I have apologized. Mm -hmm. I have done what I can do. And now I'm releasing that and letting go. And pray. Mm -hmm. Like, God, please help me. I've done the wrong thing. I know it. I've apologized for it. I've asked your forgiveness for it. Let's move forward. And whether those people forgive you or not, it's... I mean, I have seen some of the most at-peace people on death row watching, like, death row documentaries. Really? Yes. Because they know exactly what they did. Mm -hmm. They can't... They have come to the point to where they can't change anything. Mm -hmm. They've gotten help, like... To realize that, like, they went through some terrible things. They reacted terrible ways, like, by doing drugs or whatever. And they have learned to, like, forgive themselves for something terrible. Because they can't change it. But to try to at least offer something before they're executed. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah. That's powerful. Yeah. I think so, too. That's powerful. But, on that note... We love you guys. So next week, we're going to start talking about love. Love. And the different, all that, what, that, what it encompasses and so on and so forth. So we ch I challenge you, Google the five love languages. If you don't know what it is, Google it. There's a test that you can take online. It's like 25 questions. We will tell you what our results are next week. and um, But we're actually going to go over each one of them in depth. And it's more than just level of relationship. Relationship. I mean, it's parental. Yeah, French. It's, it's, right. it's just universal. Right. So, like, one example. If you are a person who has, and we'll use physical touch because that's the one that is kind of like everybody's like, "Ooh, that's like cuddly." No. Have you seen the kid that don't want to hug? Like they look like stiff as a board when their parents go to hug them. Mm -hmm. Their love language is not physical touch. It's something else, but it ain't physical touch. But then there's me. Like, I'm a hugger. My sister might as well hug a light pole. <laughs> because that's as much reaction. And she, she's one of those that'll do this. Like the... Like she pats you. Like to try to make you hurry up and be done real quick. Mm -hmm. That's what she does. Um, Lord, I feel like we're driving into the eye of the sun. I can't see. Lord of mercy. I gotta put my head in the trunk. <laughs> That'd be an interesting sight. <laughs> that would be. Um, but I think that it'll be fun and mm -hmm. it'll make you a better friend, a better romantic partner, a better parent, a better child, a better anybody you have a relationship with, really. I mean, it might make you better co worker. For real, I think it actually could. Yeah, because it's 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 relationship, not relationship specific, and that's a different. It's relationship in general. We will specifically talk about certain relationship, you know, certain things, but it's a universal. You know what I'm saying? Um, relationship with your with your siblings, you mm -hmm. know, relationship with a partner, relationship with, I mean, anything. So it's like, what are those things? The thing about it, once you best know you understand you you can't have the expectations of anyone else if you cannot articulate what you need right so you have to know what you need i mean it's not it's not a mind reading thing and then get upset once the person didn't read your mind right that's that's universal mm -hmm. that could be on the job you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying or i told you one time shouldn't that be enough 
<laughs> I'm, I'm, no, it's not, obviously it's not enough. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So well, it's, it's, you know, it's... And I think a lot of times that we articulate... We don't know enough. I know, well, I'm going to speak for my own self. I will say I want one thing. When really I want something else. Uh-huh. So, like, I might say... I'm hungry, let's go out to dinner. But I'm not actually hungry. I want one-on-one attention with that person. Instead of saying, can we spend some time... I want to spend some time with you. Can we go to dinner and just kind of connect? Right, I'm not... I, like, yeah, okay. I, I will say that now. Okay. But, like, I believe... Like, to the people. Right, 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 right. I understand. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have literally done things to where I've said one thing or another to try to fill the need without being vulnerable enough to say hey yeah and you gotta be vulnerable it's hard isn't that, isn't that garbage it's not garbage at all no i mean like no. i no i think it's garbage having to be vulnerable i hate it no i mean i don't think it's garbage at all That's i mean no i think it's facts i don't mean yeah. garbage oh, like okay. like crap i mean like it stinks that we have to be vulnerable i hate it is what and i'm saying the thing about it is though but then you have to ask yourself why do you feel that way because of fear of rejection yes so therefore if you didn't fear rejection <laughs> it wouldn't be garbage correct so, yeah. So then the why is. Well, I'm always afraid of fear of rejection. There you because go. Because I'm it's, a damaged human. So, Thank I mean, you for coming listen, to our TED Talk. That, that's the easy way out. <laughs> What's wrong? I'm damaged. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wounded. You know, so, no. And then, so you're talking about, okay, healing. And understand, these, these conversations that we're having is not coming from a place of healed people. No. It's healing. Yeah, there's times. There's you know, times that I think we hurt each other's feelings because it's like, Dude, were you just talking to me? Were you just calling me out? And then I it's mean, like, oh no, I was calling me out. Said, no, no, no. Yeah, We've yeah. had those conversations after it. Like, were you? Did you see something? Did I do something? Like, is that where they came from? He's like, no, I did it. No. Oh. You know, you, you're learning. You're learning. You're learning who you are. And not when you learn who you are, you're not so app to let people tell you who you are right because when you know who you are, you know and you know that's the one thing that i personally have learned i know who i am yeah you know i know exactly who i am not anything else and so that's 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 a long journey so um it'll be fun so we hope you've enjoyed this podcast in the car driving yeah, I'm going is, to. I'm going to put a filter. We're now on a bumpy road near my house. I don't know why you make your voice sound like that. I just thought I'd add to okay. it because it does it anyhow. Um, Tell us if you like this um, road car. I mean, um, this road car. This road car. This um, what do you call it? Podcast on the road. <laughs> podcast on the road. Red and green podcast on the road. You know what we didn't do? What? Yawn, except once. Yes, I get it. We didn't do it from now on. In the car. You just drive them and talking. Well, we'll have to see what it sounds like. We got to hear from the people. Yeah, you let us know. Okay. Because that's well, just sound like we're just outside of nature, you know. It it don't sound like nature. <laughs> You're like it sounds like when we were in New York. And like, <laughs> you sounded like a muppet. Well, that's nature. Oh, we forgot to tell them two things. Yeah, what's up? One, I fixed your car today. Yeah, she fixed my car today, and I did not feel emasculated at all. I was completely. <laughs> Go for you go you go right ahead. I'll hold a flashlight. I'll hold a flashlight, like a boss. You plugged in the extension cord. That was helpful. I mean, thanks. You're welcome. Well, I tried to say I would go ahead and do it. I got it. I was afraid that you wouldn't got it. I mean, so I'm not gonna fight with you. You go right ahead. What's the other thing? Um, I forgot again. Hmm. I forgot again. Why you that was the gate to my neighborhood. <laughs> Listen, you getting all the sounds. Today. Look, well, I'm all thinking, the I'm thinking like they're gonna be like the, almost the SPCA. That ain't it. All the bells and whistles. Alone. SPCA. Oh, I was gonna say. Spice. No, I was trying to say that they were gonna think that we got like edited, like beeped right. out. But the SPCA wouldn't be it. But somebody is gonna make fun. I think Daniel Jackson's gonna be the one that makes fun of me for saying SPCA. Yo, leave my brother alone. No, I mean, I just tell, he calls me out on myself. I think he's funny. Leave my brother alone. All right. Well, guys, we will be back next week, and it's going to be so much fun. Take your love language test. Follow us on Instagram, and have a good day. See you soon on Red and Green, the The podcast. podcast.